Hello everyone, and welcome back to my Wii Let's Play of Doom, PSX. From where we last left off, we've completed the courtyard and the citadel, and now enter Nirvana, which means we're now back in hell. Again. Now you may be wondering, where's Gotcha? Well, unfortunately, that level's been removed from this version as well. But not to worry, you can get also find that on the Lost Levels expansion. And also, did you have a good Mother's Day? I mean, I know I did. I mean, in the afternoon, that me and my dad went to the National Railway Museum in York to see Flying Scotsman on the turntable. I mean, it looks very awesome in its elegant BR Brunswick green livery. I mean, I mean, I like her in that state with the double chimney and the German-style smoke deflectors. Now, the reason why they're in the German style is because, because of the, sim their similarity to those on, like, on the steam locomotives in, in Germany. <laughs> Man. I mean, I know the NRM wants to keep her historically authentic as possible. I mean, I don't know how long she will be in the BR Green, though. But I, I, I kind of like her in, that, in, the, like her in the current state she's in. And I also would love to have a Hornby model of Flying Scotsman in her current state that yeah, she's in. I mean, even though I've already got the weathered model of her in her BR Green livery, as she was before she was withdrawn from BR service, and also, um, on the same day on Mother's Day in the UK, I, I, watched that, I, I watched that Mother's Day episode of Rugrats, where it's one where, one where the Tommy and his friends were trying to find Chucky and Mom. And I don't know when Mother's Day occurs in the US, but also I remember that bit where, where Angelica wanted a flower you know, outside the Pickles Garden. You may remember my Let's Play of Rugrats Search for Reptar. <laughs> so when... What I, what Angelica really wanted was that, that cream flower, where when you know when Chucky was about to get it, but before he was about to get it, a bee just appeared right in front of him. You know, it went like this. Bzzz, and he's like bee. They really freak you, they really freak you out if you don't know they're there. I remember when he finally got it, the bee appeared again, and then he chased him around and <laughs> quite. It's quite terrifying with stinging insects chasing after you. And also Stu's vacuum cleaner that was a bit buggy throughout. <laughs> Remember the screaming he did when he went, fell, fell down the basement? He's like, <laughs> and That was my bad impression of his screaming. Anyway, let's get back to the action. And I'll go on the rest later. No, I don't need a chainsaw out for this. You can see there's three imps shaking their naked butts at me. They're like, <laughs> they're like, I like big butts and I cannot lie. <laughs> I'm not going to use the double barrel shotgun on them this time. Instead, I'm going to use the rocket launcher on them. Oh, no fair. I like, I like big butts I cannot blow. <laughs> Get hey. <laughs> anyway, let's see we can go through these, either of these two teleporters right here. How about go through this one right here? Oh, you may remember, remember doing this in the, my original Let's Play of this and my Let's Play the Doom 2 on the BFG edition. Oh, startled. Well, at least this time they're not sneaking up behind me. Need to get rid of them shotgunners here, because they... There's some behind me, aren't there? Nope. It's just another spectre. Whoa! Oh my god! Not oh, this again! I hate it when they... I hate it when they sneak up on me like... I really do hate it when people sneak up behind me like that. Oh! Ouch. I can't stop looking at the auto map when I'm fighting. And this is the power I need my rocket launcher out because as we cross either of these lines here, we'll unleash something more terrifying for that. Oh, there's still. Huh. Yep. Unleash those revenants here. 
And again, back into a corner to avoid getting struck by those missiles. Get rid of these skeleton monstrosities. Because that's what they are. And there's they're these tall skeletons with missile launchers on their shoulders. Except they don't have the scythe like the Grim Reaper. Remember Grim from the Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy? <laughs> I mean, he has the robe and the scythe, and he's also a skeleton. <laughs> but these bone heads are no match for me. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember that episode where Spurg, one of the characters in Billy and Mandy, Spurg was picking on poor Billy, and he gave him like, wedgies. <laughs> and then when Grim was about to teach him a lesson, Spurg called him a bonehead, <laughs> and Grim was like, bonehead? He just ran home crying! <laughs> oh my god, but Mandy decided to take her turn, but Spook was afraid of her mean glare. Oh yeah, this is what I remember. If you remember my Doom 2 Let's Play, of my, when I was on this level, I mentioned that I remember in, t in September 2014, me and my mum were sorting out through most of my Bionicle sets, the ones we donated, like donated like the Toa Mata and the Toa Nuva and the Toa Metru and we donated like the Rakshi and the Turaga and the Puraka and who else do we donate? We donated some of the fan some of the Mystica sets and the Umbra and, and Axon I mean I wish I, wish I could have kept Axon if his you know, if his blade had, had snapped off you know his axe blade Mind you, now that I mention it, there's like that customer service bit on the Lego site that you can find some parts to replace like broken or missing pieces. I believe you can get them for free, which means there's no PayPal or credit card needed. But I've not had a. I mean, I don't know how that works, but I don't know what my parents will think of it though. Yeah, they're okay with me do doing stuff for free, but let's see, where was I? Oh, yeah, I. And also, during that time, I decided to keep some of the bigger sets, you know, like the Titan sets, like I kept like, uh, and the special ones like the Bow Rock and the Bow Rock Carl and the Far Key and, and what else? I kept like, I also got, I decided to keep Tarkadox, who was basically one of the Baraki. I remember when I collected the Baraki, I, was, I had six for a brief moment because the other one I got, Alec, had his Axel Peck snapped, you know, you know, because they were in lime, and then he, he fell apart as soon as I built him, but I, I decided to get rid of him, and I was down to like five. I was down with like Prydak, Takadox, Copper. Well, let's see, it was like, it was down to like Prydak, Takadox, Copper, Karma. And Mantax. And what else do we? I also kept that Maxillus and Spinax dog and, and Nocturne and Hydraxon and Brutaka and Takanova from 2003 and 2008. And the Barak. And also, let's see, Nidiki and Kreka and Rudaka and Sidorak and Kitongu. And let's see, got. Did I, mention, did I already mention I got Ikorax? Anyway, let's raise up those platforms up here. Anyway, let's... Anyway, let's... Oh, holy moly, there's more evidence! I'm out of here. Oh, no you don't, mister. Let's see if I can get that re revenant. Oh, that revenant looks good. Those revenants are going to have a boxing tournament. <laughs> oh yeah, I need more health. I mean, I have to take the teleporter here. And return to this section here. Oh, I see the imps on the steps already. Hang on, what did I miss? See if I can get the imps to invite the remaining two revenants. Oh! You can run around circles around them. 
Haha! <laughs> it's in my ninja that this time. Oh, that switch does something later on. What was? Oh, thought, thought it was one of the revenants heat-seeking missiles. Oh, this opens up. This thing here. Oh, I think we might need a BFG nine thousand for this. Again. Ah, completely wasted my ammo. Oh no, not this again! Paid elementals! Need to get rid of the imps first. And go try and get rid of those pain elementals. Ouch! I cannot believe I wasted my plasma ammo again. I need to get out of here very quickly. Ah, oh, finally. That's the last we'll be seeing of the pain elementals for now. There's a megasphere there, but how to get to it, you may ask. It's simple, we press this switch. But I think I'll save that megasphere for later. Don't know what the consequences may be. But if we take this teleporter here... We'll see if we've got more trouble up ahead. We have a hell night in the distance and... And again, now I think now's a good time to pick up that Megasphere. Yes! There's only one maker sphere in this one, and there'll be a few more. I've only got 20 of my plasma ammo remaining. Oh, whoa, God! Sorry, ouch! Come on, many. I'm a silly duck here. I die, will ya? Get me out of here. A radiation suit, thank goodness. Oh, come on, Revenants. Do I really have to go through this again? Oh, there's an invulnerability. Now I've got the invulnerability, I can use it against these guys. Let's see, where, is, where was that other radiation suit I just saw? Oh yeah, right there. Oh, this is just like what we saw in the military base in Ultimate Doom. <sighs> no, should have said that make us for later. But it was worth getting it. Now, how am I gonna get over there? You may be wondering. To make this quick. Oh, 
Cause I've got, I've got no ammo for my shotguns. Anyway, we better get out of here. And oh yeah, I have to pick up some health as well. It's not fair leaving without any health. You have 100% health. I mean, why not? Let's see here. Ah, yeah, here we go. Here's the exit. This is very hard than Hell Levels of Doom 2. Even even on Ultra Violence. Nirvana finished. And now that's the last time we'll be seeing the Pain Elementals, unfortunately. Because next up, we're going to enter the Catacombs. Which is, again, another hard level as we go further. Here we are. Oh, you can see some shotgun ammo over there. And then the music you're listening to right now is the one we've already heard in Toxin Refinery and Tower of, and Tower of Babel. Oh, forget I just did that. Let's see, how do I get over there? Ah. Well, this will save me the trouble of killing them. Oh, damn it. I would prefer going, I would prefer taking this way. Rather than the lift here. Now, if we go through this teleporter, we'll unleash all hell. <laughs> yep. Maybe we've guessed it with all hell's broken loose now. It's a good job I picked up that soul sphere in the beginning. We better clear all of this out. And look at that poor Pinky Team on that platform. He's not moving, any he's not going anywhere. What? That was meant for the Spectre. Well, I thought I can't kill that chain gunner. Let's see here. Which platform am I going to take? I mean, if I, raise, if I load that platform right there, as you can see on the map, where that pinky demon is on, if I load that, the pinky demon would have been alerted to my presence. There's another spectre. Ah, oh, finally. Oh, crud. I can't use the berserk pack on all of them. They're doing the safety method. Sorry about me being quiet, I need to concentrate. Ah, finally, more health. Oh, far me! Oh no, you don't, mister! Oh, who got me? Oh, yeah, I've unleashed more of them chain gunners right over there in the distance. Why don't I give them a far away surprise? There, that should teach them a lesson. Oh, thanks. Oh my god. Now he's reduced my health to 89%. Now. Oh dear, this is going to be way difficult with this health currently low. Oh no! 
<laughs> he got smushed. Ah, here we go. Let's see what. Oh no, not again! Oh, for God, for goodness sake! I was doing well, well until they was, until they ruined everything. Oh, I hate them for this. Oh, I'm, I'm not. I didn't. I didn't come this far to be thwarted by Chinkalas. Do this in a quicker way. Now they've unleashed my wrath. Pink team was on that platform that you've seen earlier. Oh no, you don't. You're not gonna teleport out of it just like your buddy. Well, four chain gunners on the platform's never a good idea. Again? Well, it's not. Well, it's not the chain gunner's fault. It's me. <laughs> that normally happens when I'm in close proximity to the wall or my target. I wish I had more plasma ammo. If I hadn't wasted them in Nirvana. Who's been sniping off? Who's been sniping me off? Take out inspectors again. Get rid of that pinky that's on the platform. That's, just, that's from the beginning portion. I can't help feeling there's some locking about. Come on! Oh, don't pay for this! I really need to concentrate here. Nice try, buddy. Okay, I need to go through this platform again. And, and again, he got smushed. And this time, keep an eye out for those chain guns from that alcove. That just woofed me. And whose idea was it to introduce them anyway? Let's pick that up just in case. I mean, why did I go through that? Why did I cross that line? Because I meant to 
press that button here. Oh dear, I forgot about that imp down below. There, him taken care of. But this is gonna be- Whoa! Not hit! Not another one! Just need to make sure there are more. It's been a long time since I played this. Huh, just need to wait until he comes into my view. I think if we press the switch here. Oh, I forgot about the third one here. Oh, I've unleashed the Hell Knight here, which means I've got more plasma ammo now. Oh, I need to press this switch first. If I press this switch, it'll raise... It'll load the platform here and take me to the red key here. There's a teleporter here, which we're gonna take... At the, let's see where this teleporter takes me. Ah, oh, it takes me through here. We've killed the chain gunners. Okay. Now, where to go to next? Oh, there's one more chain gunner here. These chain gunners can be picky when they're in groups. Oh, finally. Let's get out of here. The catacombs finished. And next up we're going to enter Barrels of Fun, which we're going to do in the next video. Here we are in the Barrels of Fun itself. And I will see you next time as we go through this level. So until then, bye!